Hey guys, Chef Christian here. Now, a lot of you guys have asked me for my recommendation on what the best type of deep fryer is, and I think you're all expecting that it's gonna be an electric deep fryer, but this is my absolute favorite deep fryer. Let me show it to you and tell you why. So this here is my fry pot, okay? This is my absolute favorite deep fryer. I use it all the time, and you might ask yourself, well, why isn't he using an electric fry pot? Well, there are many reasons. First of all, I, there's nothing about this that'll ever break down. There are no removable parts. There's nothing I'll ever have to replace. Okay, it'll just never break down. It's a simple pot. Okay, well, let me show you how it works and why this is different from a regular pot. Well, first we have our little handle here, if you can see that. That is very specific to a fry pot. Okay, and what that does is it allows you to put in a little let me see if I can focus in on that. That allows you to mount a frying basket. So let me show you that. Okay. So here we go. Frying basket goes in to fry, and then you can remove it, put it right there. It hangs there. It's really convenient. Now, most of the time when I'm deep frying something, I'm actually not even using this. I'm using a spider. Okay. And what I do is I just you know, scoop stuff out of the oil. I can move stuff around the oil using the spider. It's made of bamboo, so it doesn't uh, transmit heat, okay? So you're not gonna burn your hands on it. Really, really cool tool, all right? And uh, another advantage this has over using a regular electric deep fryer is you can actually tell very exactly how hot or how cold that oil is because I have an actual thermometer that hooks up to that, okay? So I know in your electric deep fryers, there's like a you know, a heat button that tells you, uh, you know, how hot it is, but that's not a thermometer. That's just the um, power regulating switch. This thermometer actually tells you how hot the oil is. So I usually wait till the oil is like 425, and then I put my food in there, um, as you'll see in my future deep frying videos with this thing. So anyways, there's my thermometer. Now, what about safety? Well, I'll ask you this. Have you ever had a pot fall off of your stove? I know I haven't, okay? Have I ever had anything fall off my counter? Most definitely. So right there off the bat, I would say having a fry pot is way safer than having an electric deep fryer that has a cord, okay? So over here, I have my bolts on this particular model right there. So I know from experience of using this that if I fill it up halfway or to about the bottom of that little bolt, that it's totally safe to use and it's not gonna bubble over and there's not gonna be oil going everywhere. Because believe me, I did the experiment. So now you can learn from my mistake, okay? So you just fill it halfway up, you are good to go. So what about smell? Now I know a lot of your um, electric deep fryers have a little lid on them with a charcoal filter. Well, guess what? If you have a kitchen, like most people, or uh, like here, I have my Kenmore exhaust fan, okay? And this actually has a charcoal filter inside of it. So that's my charcoal filter right here. It's just on a, on a grander scale. Now the capacity on this uh, 10 or 11 quart deep fryer is pretty good. I can do about four pounds of chicken wings all at one time in something like this, which is not something I was able to do inside my electric uh, deep fryer. I had to do it in batches, okay? So yet another advantage to using a simple pot for deep frying. Now I also like to be able to store this right along with all my other pots on my rack. It's just really simple. Now because I'm using my 220 volt stove, I can pump a lot more heat into this oil and keep it at a steady frying temperature than I could by just having a, a deep fry that plugs into the wall, okay? So don't underestimate the fact that your stove at home uh, can pump a lot more heat and maintain that heat uh, into this fr uh, deep frying pot. So there you have it. If you're serious about deep frying, you want to do it properly, and you don't want to break the bank, this is the setup that I would definitely recommend. A fry pot with all this stuff under $75, you cannot go wrong.